In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on November 16, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New Jersey Devils vs. Pittsburgh Penguins Thursday night lights up with the highly anticipated clash between the New Jersey Devils and the Pittsburgh Penguins, both teams displaying their prowess in the Eastern Conference. The Devils, with a commendable 7-6-1 record, find themselves in fifth place in the Metropolitan Division after a recent setback of three consecutive losses. On the flip side, the Penguins are riding a wave of success with an 8-6 record, catapulting them to a solid fourth place in the division, fueled by an impressive streak of five consecutive victories. The New Jersey Devils, boasting a respectable 7-5-1 record and occupying the fourth spot in the Metropolitan Division, approached this game with a mix of promising talent and areas for improvement. Notably, injuries to key players like Jack Hughes and Nico Hischier have impacted the team's strength through the mid-ice. Despite this challenge, the Devils stand 11th in goals for, tallying 48 this season. Tyler Toffoli emerges as a key offensive force with 8 goals and 47 shots on goal. However, there's room for offensive improvement, evident in their overall shooting percentage ranking 9th at .113. Defensively, the Devils have work to do, sitting at 20th in goals against with 48, accompanied by a penalty kill percentage of 78.7%, which, while decent, leaves room for enhancement. A notable strength for the Devils lies in their power play, ranking first in the league with an impressive 38.5% success rate. This could prove pivotal in their upcoming clash against the Penguins. Vidic Vainsek, the primary goaltender, maintains a .887 save percentage and a 3.45 goals against average, demonstrating reliability between the pipes. Recent form showcases a mixed bag, with losses against formidable opponents like Washington and Colorado, juxtaposed with victories over teams like Chicago and Minnesota, emphasizing their resilience. Success in this game hinges on their ability to capitalize on power play opportunities and tighten up defensively, especially against the potent offense of Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Penguins, holding an 8-6 record and securing the sixth spot in the Metropolitan, seek consistency in their play. Offensively, they rank 16th in goals for with 46, showcasing a solid but not spectacular performance. Evgeny Malkin emerges as a key player, leading with 8 goals, 8 assists, and a stable plus-minus of 0. The team's shooting percentage ranks 17th at .101, signaling a need for greater offensive efficiency. However, Pittsburgh excels defensively, ranking 5th in goals against with only 34 allowed this season. Their penalty kill percentage stands at an impressive 83.3%, underlining a robust defensive unit. A notable weakness for the Penguins lies in their power play, ranking 19th with an 18.4% effectiveness rate. This could become a critical factor in a game where special teams play a pivotal role. Goaltender Tristan Jerry has been stellar, boasting a .920 save percentage and a 2.23 goals against average, including three shutouts. The Penguins ride into this matchup on the coattails of a string of victories, including an emphatic 10-2 win against San Jose, showcasing their potential as a formidable force. Victory against the Devils hinges on maintaining defensive strength and finding offensive efficiency, particularly in their power play opportunities. Despite the Devils' impressive power play, the Penguins' overall defensive prowess, led by the exceptional goaltending of Tristan Jerry, positions them as favorites. Recent form, marked by a string of victories, indicates a team gaining momentum at a crucial juncture. The Devils may encounter challenges in maintaining defensive consistency against a team like Pittsburgh, known for capitalizing on defensive lapses. Expect the Penguins to leverage their defensive strength and experience to outplay the Devils in this significant divisional contest. 
Pittsburgh's defensive resilience, particularly their efficiency on the penalty kill, coupled with Jerry's goaltending brilliance, positions them with a distinct advantage in this contest. The Devils' top-ranked power play will face a stern test against Pittsburgh's robust penalty kill unit. On the offensive front, Pittsburgh needs to exploit New Jersey's 20th-ranked defense, while the Devils will rely on their power play proficiency to pierce through Pittsburgh's defenses. Anticipating a clash of offensive titans, the Penguins, averaging 3.64 goals per game, are poised to capitalize on the Devils' defensive vulnerabilities, allowing Sidney Crosby, Jake Gensel, and the forward unit to orchestrate a barrage of shots. Meanwhile, the Penguins' defense, allowing only 2.64 goals per game, aims to stifle the Devils' offense, with Eric Carlson, Marcus Pedersen, and the defensive unit creating turnovers and limiting shots on the net. The goaltending prowess of Tristan Jerry adds an extra layer of security for the Penguins. As the puck drops in this high-stakes metropolitan matchup, with a strong performance expected on their home ice and backed by their defensive edge in recent impressive form, the Pittsburgh Penguins money line is our full game side pick. Both teams showcase offensive prowess, with Pittsburgh scoring four or more goals in five of their last eight games, ranking sixth in goals per game and first in shots per game. The Devils, scoring three or more goals in eight of their last ten games, rank seventh in goals per game and ninth in shots per game. However, defensive struggles, especially for New Jersey ranking 30th in goals against per game, could potentially lead to a high-scoring game. The Devils, averaging 3.64 goals per game, are expected to create numerous scores chances with Jesper Bratt, Tyler Toffoli, and the forward unit displaying skilled puck movement. Similarly, the Penguins, with 25 goals in their last five games, are poised to capitalize on the Devils' recent defensive lapses, led by Sidney Crosby, Jake Gensel, and Evgeny Malkin. The defensive units, however, may struggle to contain the offensive onslaught. The Devils' offensive firepower, coupled with potential defensive vulnerabilities, aligns with a trend of high-scoring matchups. The recent successes of both teams on the offensive end further support this choice, promising a thrilling encounter that may see the goal count rise well beyond expectations. With both teams in prime offensive form, reflecting the likelihood of goals flowing freely from the opening puck drop, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Florida Panthers vs. Los Angeles Kings In the electrifying realm of NHL hockey, a monumental clash is on the horizon at the Crypto.com Arena. The Florida Panthers, displaying a commendable 9-4-1 record and securing the second spot in the competitive Atlantic Division, are poised to engage in a fierce battle with the Los Angeles Kings. The Kings, boasting an impressive 8-3-3 record and sitting comfortably in third place in the Pacific Division, add an extra layer of excitement to this matchup. As these two formidable teams collide on the ice, fans can anticipate a spectacle of high-octane action and skillful maneuvers. The journey of the Florida Panthers this season has been marked by moments of brilliance and areas that warrant improvement, essential considerations as they approach their next challenge against the Los Angeles Kings. Offensively, the Panthers have netted a total of 44 goals, positioning them 19th in the NHL. This statistic suggests room for enhancement in their attacking strategies. Their shooting percentage stands at .92. Two, ranking 25th in the league, indicating a need for increased precision and efficiency in front of the net. Defensively, the Panthers have showcased resilience, conceding 40 goals, a figure that places them 9th in the league. However, the absence of key defensemen Brandon Montour and Aaron Ekblad due to injuries raises concerns about maintaining this defensive strength. The responsibility now falls heavily on the shoulders of goaltender Sergei Bobrovsky who has demonstrated commendable form with a .905 save percentage and a 2.68 goals against average. His performance becomes pivotal, particularly against the potent offensive threat posed by the Kings. Examining special teams, the Panthers reveal areas that demand attention. Their power play efficiency is at 15.9%, ranking 23rd in the league, while their penalty kill percentage is 76.1% placing them 21st. These figures underscore the need for improvement in both power play conversions and penalty killing prowess. Key players like Sam Reinhardt, leading the team with 11 goals and 10 assists, become instrumental in bolstering these statistics. Their contributions, alongside those of forwards Carter Verheeg and Alexander Barkov, will play a vital role in elevating the team's offensive output and special teams play. The Los Angeles Kings, standing at an impressive 8-3-3 record and securing the third spot in the Pacific Division, emerge as formidable opponents for the Panthers. Offensively, the Kings have proven to be a powerhouse, scoring 56 goals, placing them second in the entire league. 
Their shooting percentage of .120 ranks them second in the NHL, showcasing their ability to capitalize on scoring opportunities effectively. Defensively, the Kings mirror the Panthers, conceding 40 goals and holding the ninth rank in the league. This balance of offensive prowess and defensive solidity renders them a challenging force. Goaltender Cam Talbot has been exceptional for the Kings, boasting a .923 save percentage and a 2.21 goals against average. His stellar performance has been a cornerstone of the Kings' success providing reliability in the crucial goaltending position. Special teams play is another area where the Kings shine, with a power play percentage of 18.6% and an impressive penalty kill percentage of 87.2%. This efficiency in both power play and penalty kill situations gives them a significant edge in games. Key players like Adrian Kemp and Anz Kopiter, with seven goals each, have been instrumental in the Kings' successful run. The Kings, armed with four days of preparation for this clash, enter the matchup as strong contenders, aiming to secure victory in front of their home audience. Despite their remarkable form, the Kings' inexplicable 1-3-3 record at home this season raises eyebrows. The challenge of overcoming the informed Panthers looms large, but history is on the Kings' side, having won each of their previous five encounters against Florida. Additionally, the Panthers have secured only two victories in their last 13 road matchups versus Los Angeles. Florida's recent defensive struggles, allowing 15 goals in the last five games, add another layer of complexity to this intriguing matchup. While beating the Panthers is undoubtedly a challenging task, the Kings' historical dominance against Florida and the Panthers' defensive vulnerabilities create a compelling narrative. Florida's offensive firepower, coupled with a lower shooting percentage, presents an opportunity for the Kings to capitalize on their balanced attack. Furthermore, the Kings' superior special teams, particularly their robust penalty kill, could prove pivotal in tipping the scales in their favor. In this clash of titans, the Los Angeles Kings emerge as the frontrunners. The combination of home ice advantage, offensive depth, and historical success against the Panthers positions them as the favorites. The Los Angeles Kings' money line is our full-game side pick. While Cam Talbot aims for redemption following a less-than-ideal performance, the goaltending duel between Talbot and Sergei Bobrovsky may not unfold as the high-scoring affair anticipated by bookmakers. The Panthers' recent defensive lapses during their five-game winning streak are counterbalanced by Bobrovsky's spectacular form. The total going under in five of Los Angeles' last six games, juxtaposed with a perfect 6-0 overtrend for Florida in their previous six games, sets the stage for a strategic low-scoring affair, especially considering Considering the recent trend of lower scoring games for the Kings, under the projected total is our full game total pick. St. Louis Blues vs. San Jose Sharks In the unfolding drama of the 2023-2024 NHL season, an unexpected narrative is being penned by the St. Louis Blues. Initially faced with minimal expectations, the Blues have defied predictions through their first 14 games, channeling the tenacity that once crowned them Stanley Cup champions less than six years ago. Their remarkable resilience positions them as a potential dark horse in what appears to be a wide-open Western Conference. If they can sustain this momentum, the Blues may become a force to be reckoned with in the coming months. Contrasting this narrative are the San Jose Sharks, whose trajectory seems to be charting a different course. Evidently, the Sharks are inclined towards securing the best odds for the number one overall pick in the 2024 NHL Draft. Despite two commendable wins, the overall outlook for the Sharks in the 2023-2024 NHL season is becoming increasingly grim. Having shed some of their top pieces in recent franchise history, the St. Louis Blues were initially anticipated to be an average team this season. However, a recent 5-1-0 surge in their past six games has elevated them to an 8-5-1 record, placing them well within the playoff contention fray after just 14 games. Although their road performance stands at 2-3-1 against formidable competition, a notable plus-six goal differential on the season underscores their consistent and competitive play. The Blues, spearheaded by Robert Thomas with 16 points, boast a deep roster where everyone contributes. Noteworthy is their goaltending excellence, with a collective 2.5 goals against average and a stellar .927 save percentage on the season. Their recent dominant 5-0 victory over the season playoff winners, the Tampa Bay Lightning, exemplifies their current hot streak. In stark contrast, the San Jose Sharks, leading the race for the 2024 number one overall draft pick, 
find themselves at a challenging 2-13 to to 1 on the season and during three consecutive losses. Despite glimpses of success with two wins, their recent defeats signal a return to familiar losing ways. With an NHL worst minus 50 goal differential, the Sharks anticipate a long and arduous season. Veteran forward Tomas Hurdle has been a standout with 11 points, but the lack of double-digit scorers and goaltending struggles, marked by a 4.44 goals against average and an .888 save percentage, present significant challenges. Their recent 5-3 loss to the formidable Florida Panthers further adds to the hurdles they face heading into the matchup against the Blues. The Blues, on a recent upswing, have notably improved defensively after a slow start to the season, scoring 13 goals in their last two outings against stronger opponents than San Jose. They enter this matchup as overwhelming favorites despite being on the road. With a remarkable 5-0 record in their past five head-to-head -head meetings in San Jose, the Blues are expected to continue their dominance. Their goaltending excellence this season, coupled with a deeper and more experienced roster, positions them as one of the hottest teams in the entire NHL. The Sharks, unfortunately, are deemed an automatic fade this season. Betting against them in every game, despite losses even with significant favorites, is likely to yield favorable results given the dire state of the Sharks' performance. The Blues, heating up and showcasing a level of play that discourages betting against them, may find it challenging to underestimate the Sharks. Nevertheless, the the Blues' historical dominance, winning seven straight games over San Jose by two or more goals, reinforces the confidence in the Blues. So the St. Louis Blues money line is our full game side pick. Analyzing the offensive prowess of the Blues and the Sharks' lackluster defense, the over might seem tempting for some. However, recent offensive struggles for the Sharks, consistently conceding four to five goals while scoring just one coupled with the Blues goaltending dominance, may limit the Sharks' offensive output. The under, standing at 10-4-1 to to in the Blues' past 15 games and 4-1 to in the Sharks' past 5 games, reflects a trend of close, low-scoring contests. In a matchup where the Blues are expected to grind things out, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.